Okay, good triggers critical for accuracy of any gun. Now the market is literally flooded with custom and drop-in triggers ranging from less than $100 to $350. Now some are adjustable, most are not. You know, the biggest thing that most of them boast about is little to no creep with a crisp, clean break and a short reset. Now it's not hard to find these triggers. It gets harder to find them in a two-stage and especially mil-spec triggers that do this and even harder to find a good trigger that will ignite hard primers like Tula or military surplus ammo. Now, Bushmaster just came out with their DM2S trigger. Let's see how it does. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, one thing that steers a lot of folks away from custom triggers is, you know, some of the custom triggers have reliability issues when, you know, they start getting dirty or you got uh, hard primers or, you know, just out in the field. And then the other thing is the cost. Now, a lot of the really nice triggers I call princesses, you know, as long as you run them, uh, through a good clean gun, quality ammo, uh, good shooting conditions, they work great. As soon as you put them, put them in the mud, run cheap hard primer ammos, and you get your gun dirty, you know, they don't work as good. That is why Bushmaster came out with this trigger, attempting to give you a best of both worlds. A traditional mil spec trigger with the pull and break of a custom trigger. Let's just take a look at the specs and tech and then put it to the test. Okay, so I got the trigger installed in a lower that I'm working on for a review. I'm doing Sylvan's uh, side folding stock adapter here using the buffer tube. Anyway, it, it goes in just like any standard AR trigger. I don't know if you can see. I, I did go ahead and put some, some lubrication in there to see if that will actually decrease the pounds. Also, what I did was, because triggers are a lot like a barrel and sometimes you need a little break in i essentially pulled the trigger here and ran this through a hundred rounds just because the ammo is kind of the way it is um i did it that way and okay let's just check out the trigger here got just a little take up that is a crisp clean break guys then we reset Short reset, nice and crisp, gets a little bit of play back in it. Okay, so when it resets, it's not just solid, but then we've got the take up again. Crisp, clean, break. It's a nice trigger. I consistently got four pounds measuring the pole. Now the big question, at least for me, is I wanna know is this going to ignite hard primer? So I know there's a lot of controversy. Some people gripe about, you know, cheap steel cased, but I like to know that a trigger is gonna fire anything that's in the chamber that I want. So we're gonna mount this and then we're gonna run it through, of course, some nice, you know, brass cased, boxer primed, US made ammo, but then I wanna run some Tula through it that has, you know, the hard primers and see if it ignites those. Let's go outside and put this to the test. Okay, so I got the Bushmaster trigger in the lower. What I've got here is a Springfield St. Edge. I'm doing some, some different reviews on folding stock adapter, a primary arms optic. Anyway, what I wanna do now is I've got an Amend 2 mag. Whoops, yeah, got some wind going here. And I wanna see if that trigger is gonna ignite this Tula steel cased, uh, you know, hard, hard primer. I've got, I got my fingers crossed. Let's find out.
Now recently I reviewed Brownells 180. Let's put that back on this lower and run some more Tula ammo. If it fires all that, don't need to waste any time or ammo because it'll fire anything. Okay, we're gonna give this trigger a good try here. We're gonna use some more Tula. I got 75 grain. I've got a Brownells BRN 180. It was not zeroed for the 75 grain. We're going to start at 200, we'll go up to 300, but basically all we're really checking is, does it make it go bang? Do we have any light primer strikes? <laughs> nice. All right, let's go 300. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30 day money back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. There you have it. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Make sure and hit that subscribe button. This really helps the most. And comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to guns and gun safety. And be a safe and responsible gun owner.